What is the term for the unintentional release of oil or natural gas into the environment, often caused by accidents during drilling or transportation? A, oil spill, B, oil extraction, C, gas emission, or D, environmental leakage. The correct answer is A, oil spill. An oil spill refers to the release of liquid petroleum hydrocarbon into the environment, primarily affecting marine ecosystems, but also land habitats where spills occur on shore. Oil spills have devastating effects on wildlife, habitats, and economies reliant on affected areas. Question two, which environmental consequence is associated with the process of acidicizing oil and gas extraction? A, increased soil fertility, B, groundwater contamination, C, enhanced air quality, or D, restoration of natural habitats. The correct answer is B, groundwater contamination. Acidicizing involves injecting acid solutions into the well to dissolve rock formations and increase the flow of oil or gas. However, this process can lead to the contamination of groundwater, poisoning a risk to human health and ecosystems. Question number three. What is a primary concern regarding the disposal of produced water from oil and gas drilling operations? Question number three. A. Nutrient enrichment of soil. B. Promotion of aquatic life. C. Contamination of water sources. The increased biodiversity. The correct answer is C, contamination of water sources. Produced water, a byproduct of drilling, contains various pollutants and chemicals, can contaminate water sources if not properly treated or disposed of, leading to ecological damage and health hazards. Question number four. Which marine organism is particularly vulnerable to the impacts of oil spills due to its sensitivity to oil toxins and its role in coastal ecosystems? A. Seagulls B. Jellyfish C. Sea turtles D. Mangroves The correct answer is C. Sea turtles. Sea turtles, especially their hatchlings and juveniles, are highly susceptible to oil contamination. Oil can coat their bodies, disrupt their ability to regulate body temperature, and poison them if ingested, leading to population declines and ecosystem imbalances. Question number five. What environmental issue can result from the disposal of drilling waste in landfills or open pits? A. Carbon sequestration. B, soil erosion, C, habitat restoration, or D, groundwater recharge. The correct answer is B, soil erosion. Improper disposal of drilling waste can lead to soil erosion as it may contain chemicals and salts that degrade soil quality and stability, impacting vegetation, growth, and ecosystem health. Question number six, how does the practice of flaring contribute to air pollution during oil and gas drilling operations? A, it reduces greenhouse gas emissions. B, it releases toxic chemicals into the atmosphere. C, it enhances air quality. Or D, it promotes ozone layer recovery. The answer is B, it releases toxic chemicals into the atmosphere. Flaring, the controlled burning of natural gas during oil drilling, re releases pollutants such as methane, a volatile organic compound or VOCs, and nitrogen oxides, contributing to air pollution and climate change. Question number seven. What is the term for the underground migration of gases and fluids from the wellbore to the surface, often due to faulty well construction? A. Hydrocarbon leakage. B. Well integrity failure. C. Gas Migration, or D, drilling seepage. The correct answer is C, gas migration. Gas migration poses risks of groundwater contamination, soil pollution, and explosion hazards. It occurs when gases such as methane migrate from the wellbore 
through the subsurface pathways to the surface. Question number eight, which factor contributes to the phenomenon known as subsidence in areas with extensive oil and gas extraction? A, enhanced soil stability, B, reduced water table levels, C, loss of underground support, or D, increased vegetation growth. The correct answer is C, loss of underground support. Subsidence occurs when underground reservoirs of oil or gas are depleted, causing the overlaying land to sink or to collapse due to the removal of the support, leading to infrastructure damage and alterations to surface water flow patterns. Question number nine, what is a significant environmental impact associated with the use of seismic surveys in offshore drilling exploration? A, coral reef restoration, B, noise pollution harming marine life, C, enhanced biodiversity, D, reduction of ocean acidification. The answer is B, noise pollution harming marine life. Seismic surveys produce loud underwater noises that can disturb and harm marine mammals, fish, and other marine organisms, affecting their behavior, communication, and reproductive success. Question 10. What is the primary purpose of environmental impact assessments, or EIAs, conducted before oil and gas drilling projects? A. To promote pollution. B. To ensure sustainable development. C. To expedite drilling operations. Or D. To discourage habitat restoration. The correct answer is B. To ensure sustainable development. Environmental Impact Assessments, the EIAs, aim to evaluate the potential environmental consequences of proposed projects, including oil and gas drilling, and to identify measures to mitigate adverse impacts, promoting sustainable development and environmental protection.